mom. He bought me an infinity shaped necklace. It was spooky. This wasn't for just a social experiment. This was two people that were created by God to come together. And I'm just so excited to meet him. Finally. Hey, future wife. This is your future husband. I look forward to seeing your beautiful smile light up the whole room, which I know it will. I promise you that I'm going to protect your heart. I promise that I'm going to take care of you. I promise that I'm going to care for you. I promise that I'm going to be your best friend. I promise that I'm going to give you a lot of kids. I promise that. Y'all like our little intro, <laughs> our version of Paige and Chris? <laughs> Hit that like button if you like that. I thought I was so hilarious. Your husband. <laughs> I was just like, why Paige talk so slow? Like, yeah, uh, it's just destiny. Like, why does she talk like that? Wait, wait. Cause she want to be seductive. She want to. Mm -hmm. Too bad that. that <laughs> Chris ain't feeling, old girl. <laughs> all right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So, all right. It started out with Paige and Chris getting married. Um, they left off with him saying, oh, God, I hope she, um, I hope I'm attracted to her. I hope she looks good. I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm not attracted to her. And I keep saying, like, Chris, like, come on, Chris. You ain't no, you know, you ain't no Grand Hill because y'all know that's my boo. <laughs> I'm like, you ain't no... Tay Diggs, you ain't no Morris Chest, you ain't nobody like that that you could be like, I hope I'm attracted. Like, you ain't that much of a cash, Chris. Hey, he's himself. He's Remember himself. that haircut? Hell. He's to fly to, if, if you don't have self confidence, then how you gonna make others believe? It's one thing having self confidence and being conceited or being cocky. That's just a whole different thing. But when he saw her, then this is what I understand. Then he's so fake and phony. He saw her coming down. He was like, oh, she's beautiful. This, that, the other. And then later on, he's like, I'm not attracted to her. Okay. So why you was fighting talking about she's beautiful and all that if you're not attracted to her? He's so fake. Yeah, he told the mom that she was beautiful too. <laughs> he just said that to everybody. <laughs> you don't want to believe with him because he's not. What's the man supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? I don't know. All right. So, um. Uh, so he was acting like he liked her in the beginning when they first met at the altar. I thought her vows was really nice and genuine. His vows was like, uh, and I'm like, all the stuff that the family was talking about him, I was like, Dad, all they talk about is him being so materialistic. Well, according to the friends, the friends liked his vows. Was just like, oh my gosh, his vows was, ooh. So now how are you saying, I, I, just I, it's because you didn't like him. I, I just you don't, don't like it. Like so I don't know. Hang on, like none of us. You see how people are. <laughs> but anyway, but I did like her vows. I thought her vows was genuine. She said and it came from the heart. She was disconnected because he read the vows yes, from and he a was piece like of this. paper. But like, hold on, she did the exact same thing. But. He just read the vows like this. Like, I'm looking at you and I'm just looking down. Yeah, the man was nervous. He didn't give no eye contact. He could have glanced up like you ain't never did no public speaking. Like, you go down and glance up and look at your audience. Look who you're talking to. Like He probably just wrote it after partying with his boys and just wrote them down real quick. It ain't that about what you wrote. It's how you deliver it. And I thought delivery was horrible. Yeah, so, but he didn't memorize none of it. So he, he got to stay glued to the thing. paper. You ain't never read nothing in public, and you ain't. If you read it, something you could, you know what I mean. Anyway, mm -hmm. I didn't like that. Anyway, didn't like, I, I agree didn't with her. Like that I didn't and like him that. and all of that. Nothing, nothing about him. <laughs> that whole talk after the wedding was like, dude, 
She talked about it was a yellow flag. I was like, red flag, red flag, red flag. Like, sis, as soon as he's like, yo, I got a tattoo. She was like, oh, it's fresh. She was like, yeah, I have my girlfriend's name on it. I'm like, well, that's a little too much right there. He's like, just, I guess he's just like, let me just let it all out there because you're going to find out anyway. So at least I give that to him. He was up front with his dirt. Let her know from her head. So I, I give that to him. So I was like, you, just, you had a tattoo? When you get a tattoo of somebody, you think you're going to be with that person forever. See, but what he did there, he... Yeah, you're supposed to, t well, you ain't supposed to tell them right there on the wedding day. I don't, at least I don't think, like, it's not like you're hiding, but you want to start it, everything off on the good foot. I guess he said, you know what, let me just get everything out now. You're going to find out, maybe it'll be worse if you find out later, let me just tell you everything Maybe out. because he shouldn't have been in that position that Pastor <laughs> Kyle put him in. You still claim with Pastor Kyle. <laughs> Leave Pastor Kyle alone. <laughs> Anyway, and dad is like, okay, fine. She was like, you see her face change? She was like, oh, okay. And then, then the way he talked about it, she was like, oh, I have a little dog. He was like, yeah, my ex had a little dog. So she's like, dad, why he keep referring back to his ass? Why are we talking about your ex? It's our wedding day. She, she done switched it off to try to, like, let's get off this conversation. Do you have a dog? And... <laughs> He just brought it right back to and his girlfriend. And he runs it right back to where she didn't want to be. He could have just been like, yeah, I like My dogs. Man, I had previous relationships that women had dogs and I was fine with them. He don't he seem smooth. He didn't have to be so specific. He yeah. don't seem smooth. All right, so let's go to Haley and Jacob. Since after they wedding, Paige had a little talk. Then they switched to Haley and Jacob and their wedding. And Haley, she was, she was throwing them shots back with the... Uh, <laughs> I forgot the thing again. What's that name of the... Um, Little thing. Is that what I said last week? I don't week? know. We're going to put it up in there. <laughs> I put it up. I forgot what it was. <laughs> but anyway. Something with an H or something. I don't know. Anyway. This what is, all is good. it? But she, 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 she. We we think that party, what? Party, <laughs> party, party girl down in Virginia. Virginia is, is, is the drinking one in the bunch. But she throws them back too to feel nice and calm. Yeah, Haley needed a drink. She was like, know? tell her father, I need another shot. I need another shot. He was like, you sure? She was oh, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, like I, a, and another one. <laughs> hey, me? my my man Ramon, he remind me of Eli for some reason. Eli Manning, he just plain faced. <laughs> It kind of look like him too. If you, no, he if you don't. Eli if, Manning if you stare at him, he kind of look like Eli. So, <laughs> he's just so bland. And so, I don't know. But he was also talking about, I hope she's pretty and I hope she looks good. I was like, Jacob, you ain't that much of a looker either. You fly to him. <laughs> I'm just giving my opinion. I'm just saying. He like noses. He got a big nose. Like, and what was up with that? He was like, I like females with big noses. I was like, you already got a big nose and you want somebody, how they going to be kissing? They nose going to be bumping all into each other. <laughs> then we look like, oh, come on, come on. He go like, <laughs> You're stupid. I'm hey, like, but... even, see, even the kiss was awkward. It's called his nose. <laughs> I guess he was nervous or something, but he didn't show no kind of, they, they looked no, like they nothing. wanted to kiss and was about to engage. And then she looked like, wasn't that her? She looked like she was about to give him the cheek. And then she said, oh, you want to kiss? Mm -hmm. and it, it was, I, was like, I don't know. I, I call them the conservative. That's that's what they are. They're conservatives. They boring. Boring. That too. too. <laughs> I'm like, he sound like a nerd. Because it was like, he's into video games. He's into, um, like, old school 80s and i'm like that's all y'all got to describe a man he ain't got nothing else he just sounded like a boring nerd he's reading his vows he couldn't read his vows right i'm like dad did you practice this my man i don't know it seemed like he got a memory problem here my man, he forgetting, the, <laughs> he, forgetting got his, his vows. Man, he can't read his he own said, handwriting no, i forgot the place i forgot the place <laughs> he, lost then he forgot place. the place for a long time and i'm like how it wasn't that many words on that paper like how you missed your place and can't find it that that long, like, and then after the wedding, he was saying something to her, and I think he ended up forgetting. I, I was, know. he was just like, All I got is, I said, Jacob, he just forgetful. I got Jacob sound like a nerd. My man, kind of his old. family did him dirty because <laughs> what that his family what? wrote about him just make him sound not very attractive. 
It, did, it didn't sound desirable as a husband, based on what they described. Well, what you call it, flipping back to Chris and Paige, when they read his statement about him, yeah. he looked, he looked kind of embarrassed because they say, hey, uh, this honeymoon baby business, yeah. and he I looked kind of like, embarrassed. Like I'm like, dude, they just recited your words back to you. Exactly. Why are you looking embarrassed? You was just in a relationship a couple of months ago, and you talked about having a baby with somebody. But that's some that's some other tea that you know that's in the the gossip mill that he got a baby or that that preview. But we, we'll talk. We'll get to that in a minute. In a minute. But Jacob was giving me Henry from last season. Just like awkward, oh don't gosh. know what to say, cringy a little bit. I was like, okay, let's just get away from them. And like when they came out and they had a little talk, and I'm like, get to know her. You just met her. He talking about, I wonder where they're going to send us on a honeymoon. I wonder what we're going to do. Like, <laughs> He was trying to strike a conversation. They strangers. He was boring. They strangers. Ask about her. Don't say where they're going to send us on a honeymoon. Get to know her. Like, I don't know. He, he, he just seemed boring to me. Boring. Maybe it's her. No, it was Jacob. Jacob was more boring now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so now it's the um, reception time. Now they start showing everybody at the reception. And listen, the most of the tea was with Paige and Chris. So most of my notes is on Paige and Chris. That whole dinner conversation. First of all, she always talked about I don't feel connected to him. I'm like, Paige, girl, you just met him. Like, how are you supposed to feel connected? Y'all just met. Give it a minute. Like, yeah, go on. Let's get the lie detector out. <laughs> now, Chris says, I don't have a big ego. The lie detector says that's a lie. That's what he says? <laughs> that's what he says. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then the dad says, he not a phony. The lie detector said, that's a lie. He a phony, fake, phony, phony, phony. He gonna talk about, oh, you a virgin? I'm like, what kind of conversation you having at the dinner table, at the reception? Like, wait till you get back to the room and have those conversations. Like, first of all, you're not attracted to her, but you're concerned about if she a virgin. This is the same man that said that, you know, all of my relationships didn't work out because we had sex. So this time with this relationship, I'm not going to have sex right away. But you want a honeymoon baby? And you ask her if she a virgin? Well, I think the friends were saying, yo, she's just not in, what, a pair of ovaries or something? Exactly. And, uh, like, what, get what, to know her I, as a person. Come on, man. The father is... Oh, the father is the hot man. One man sitting there talking to his daughter-in-law. Oh, my God. And my man start rambling off what his son needs and wants. Talk about my son and works long hours when he comes he, home. What, what did you do? Like, he's basically saying you got to give him a lot of sex. Like, who says that to the daughter-in-law, like, on the first time you meet her? Like, that's why I can't blame Chris, because the apple don't fall from, far from the tree, as they say. Okay, he, he had to do the table, ask her if you were a virgin, or you want contraception. Or do you have a high sex drive? And the father over here took a while. He like having sex. He like for his woman to hey, give some sex. At least, he's, at least he's trying to be up front like this is what I want or something like. Daddy was over there talking about, yo, I'm not going behind this. She got a bad body. And I'm like, dad. I guess that's where the son get his inappropriate comments from. Yeah. So I'm like, like dude, how you who talk says about that? your daughter-in-law? Like, she could say she looks very beautiful, but she got to say... She she got a bad body. Her body bad. I'm Let's like, get that up. Get that up front. Like, get that up. Okay. Give her the. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where they do that at. Well, I guess in Atlanta they do. My thing is, he claims he's not attracted to her, but I'm sure if she give it up that night, although in the honeymoon, he'd be ready and willing. But he's not attracted to her though. The girls, her girls, held her down, ask yeah. some questions. They they did a good job, you know. And he tried to, you know, ask these, answer the questions, you know. And he just put himself in a more awkward position. That's up, so I'm like, Chris, what are you doing, dude? And, and he was trying to be honest. There's no smoothness to him. That's the thing. It's like in one moment you're lying and being fake, 
saying she's beautiful and you know you're not attracted to her and all this but then another instance where you should not be as honest <laughs> you like just let it all out there talk about she's not what i want but she's what i need like who, who i wouldn't want to hear that about my friend at her wedding at, at, at least chris and i give him respect with this one he he said you know do you want to kiss you know at, yeah, i think that was just fronting too he was fronting. <laughs> Hey, at least he he's trying to make it seem like he's a genuine um gentleman but suggestion, i think he was like, just is, are, are we going to kiss or can we kiss or you, you want it oh. i'm best about to be his maybe because he wasn't Front trying to fake chris maybe just, that, hey. that could be one thing too maybe because he wasn't trying to but what is attraction i'm not trying oh. to throw everything off he's attracted to a body that's attraction no i think that's his lust it's like you say somebody got a bagging body, but so you saying he attracted to lust? Then he just he. But how could you? I don't know. I can't see. Uh, oh, I like your body, but what? I don't like your face. Well, he don't. I guess he don't have to like every exact body part that's on the physical. But he's not attracted to her. What? Meaning he doesn't like how she look in her because, face, but he like how she look in the body. Because he's definitely attracted to that booty. Because. He, he's, he kept saying this is a difficult and, and different position for him. So, obviously, he's stating that the, his previous girlfriend's or girlfriend is better looking than her. And he's saying this is a different position. I'm normally getting, you know, girls that look good or in, in, in a certain physical position. And wow. this is kind of different, I guess. Mm. I don't know. But I, I definitely agree with you that Paige Friends was like held her down and was telling yeah, her the truth. It was down. like, you know, they held it down. They like, held it listen, down. we go, I'm going to keep my eye on you, especially the one with dress. She was like, I'm going to keep my eye on you. Like, in one minute, he'll say something that's funny. And they will tell the truth and seem endearing. Then next minute, he's just a, a boho. Like, seriously? Just a fake phony. I don't know. Then he was like, hey, you know, uh, uh, it's not about the, I guess, the, the look or whatever it's about. They're hard, uh, hard, hard. Uh, yeah, Chris don't believe had... in that. Chris trying to find, find a trophy wife. And he was saying she's not a trophy wife. He wants something nice to, to have on his arm. And I think it could be also because she's so independent and she don't really need him or his money, as he claims. And she could do her own thing. That could be something that's intimidating for him too and not being attracted to that. He's attracted to gold diggers. Right. She's not a gold digger. So what about your people... Uh, uh, Eric and Virginia, or Brianna and Vincent. I thought Brianna and Vincent was kind of cute at the at the reception. Um, Vincent talking to his, her dad. I think that was a little nice moment that they had, and um, you know, talking to her 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 bridesmaids. I think I still I'm still rooting for Brianna and Vincent, even though the previews got us all thinking what's going on. But I, I, I'm still rooting for them too. The root for them too. Okay, what was going on with her split going on? I call her Brianna split, banana split, Brianna <laughs> split. Like, come on, he, he, I think he later no, it was with the daughter. He was taking the daughter off with the and that's why she had that you know, split. That whole leg normally was Normally, they have to pull up the dress and she so had to. She just put, put rap. <laughs> she had. <laughs> she she in the red seat. It was she like, is take open. A, She's like, there we go. Take the guard up. <laughs> and what was going on with uh with the uh her and her girlfriend talking about the oh she the was, last name business? She was saying that she would change her last name. And I was like, girl, y'all just met. That's just the first day. You don't know if you don't. She all liking him already. She she falling. I don't know about that one. She were falling. They, were they talking and giving uh, uh their girl cold type stuff? Uh, that's what he was Maybe saying. Maybe was talking about a. Some no. sexual thing. Is you going to give it up tonight? I don't think that's what they were saying. She was just basically saying that she liked him and she thinks she'll take his last name. And her friend was just like surprised of what she said. Cause the way she really? Seemed, yeah, really? Cause the way she seemed as being so controlling and whatnot to, to be so quick to change your last name, which is a big deal. Mm. People that in love and Ari don't even do that all the time. Mm -hmm. So... You read it through lies. So, I ain't even right. there. 
So good, Brianna know. No <laughs> girlfriend know. You, I caught on to. You don't I'm know. the only one. Uh huh. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> but um. What 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 happened that honeymoon <laughs> night? Yeah. Nothing. They went to bed. See, Paige and Chris, or Chris thought he was getting the baby. Moon, moon baby. With thought the honeymoon baby. Mm -hmm. Brianna and Vincent. That's what it is. See, I know. I know. Okay. You know nothing. <laughs> All about Eric and Virginia. Eric and Virginia, I think Eric is just, and she was, she did tell the truth. She laughed, but she's nervous. And I, I don't know. I think Eric and Virginia might be getting it on the honeymoon night. Virginia was a little early tipsy. Eric is willing and she able. Just, she just seemed fun. She just laughed. <laughs> She she just all about she, she whatever he with she with exactly because they see there was the only one that was like cuddled up at, at when they showed the scenes and kissing and bed and stuff so I think they might have did something that night but um but Haley and Jacob Haley was like I'm going to sleep I'm tired Jacob was in the bed like hey <laughs> with no shirt on <laughs> Jacob Jacob was in the bed with no shirt on like hey she came in that bed was like. Mm. Go to sleep. I'm going to. I'm sleepy. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I was like, dude, you ain't getting none tonight. See, see, what, what, Eli wasn't that warm. It's her. It's her. <laughs> it's, not, it's not because she saw around all of these uh, 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 weddings and marriages, and she got two more to go to in, in this year. Girl and, was tired. She was like, no, we're not. You're not getting none. It's, he seems strange. I'll be a little leery too. Uh, uh, weirdo. Atari playing 80s dude. Oh <laughs> He's 38 God. years old. I can't. I can't. He's still living in the 80s. I don't know. Um, Clara and Ryan? Like, Clara and Ryan, I think, was cool. Ryan seems shy. When the when the Bryce was just talking to him and he's like, What's gonna happen? They were like, What's gonna happen tonight? He just seems so shy. He didn't want to say that to the girls. He's like, uh-uh, that's gonna be between me and Clara. I thought that was a little cute moment. I didn't expect it to be so shy. Okay. okay. So I thought that was cute. All right. But I think they, they seem cool. They seem cool. But I'm still rooting for Brianna and, and uh, Vincent. So we'll see what happens with that. So let's talk about that last clip that they showed at the end to show how the series is going to go. Man, got me on the edge of my seat. Like, ooh, I can't wait to see what happens with this. It's going to be some stuff. Hey. It's all about the drama. And it sure got a lot okay. of drama. Okay. It's all about the drama. That's it. It, it drew me That's in. It. That's all I got to say. See, see, we were waiting on the, we were sitting there with the with the weddings and this and oh, oh, I'm like, yo, when they get to talking. That's when we gonna know who gonna make it, who gonna be in, who gonna be out. Nobody like Chris. That's not though. Hey, cause Chris from the beginning. He was ripping off at the mom exactly. at the beginning. He is not the, a likable person. And, you know, and, you know, coming at the old dude and this and that, coming at the other dude. <laughs> like, you don't, you don't enter a circle like that. Y'all got a little plan going there. He's too just, full of himself. What That's you all doing, dude? He's too full of himself. But, yeah, the, the next couple of episodes, I'm like, good Lord, Chris about to get in a fight with Eric. Chris got a baby. Somebody fight I told him to be his I was like, what is going on? And Clara uh, is giving Chris the business, too. I, I was like, he getting the business from Clara. He getting the business you got Paige from like, the guys and the girls. I don't had enough. But Paige is like, it was one because she was like, we done had sex every day. And then, then that passed the cow. It's like, did y'all use the protection? Did you? She's yeah. like, no. Oh, no. What are you doing? Uh, Pasta, <laughs> you... You over the show, you put them together. You, yeah, because you don't want them to. They are what, grown you know, people. They you don't marry, be, they put the no, ring on them. They use protection. Y'all just met. Like, okay, you don't do he promote person. that though? Pastor Cal, do you promote, promote that? that. Are you giving up the condoms, people. the contraceptives? What, like, what are we like? Planned Parenthood? Like, he shouldn't have to do that. They're grown people, they should know true. better. This is true. But I'm like, the gossip bill is saying that his hey. ex-girlfriend is the one that's pregnant. And hey. he got her pregnant. She can't be hot in the pants. During girl. COVID. So she I want to know. be hot in the pants. I want to know who got pregnant. If it's true, if it's the ex-girlfriend or is it Paige. He was hot in the pants. She hot in the pants. Something going set on fire in the pants. What the hell? 
hell you talk about? Anyway, that's all we got. This I want to talk about my man Vincent. Who? My man Vincent. He was sitting around the 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 woman. He you know there was all around. I know he felt like the man. He felt like the man. He had the girls around him. And he was answering their questions. They was like, oh. Wait, Chris wait. had the girls around him too. Why well, he didn't feel like the man? No, no, they didn't have him around. It was it was grilling him. Like, <laughs> that was a different vibe. Then. <laughs> See, Vincent was standing there cool. He was just like, you know, and they was like, oh, and it was all wrapped around, you know. My man, uh, Jacob, I like how he entered the circle. He was like, yo, he left his, you know. Boring Jacob. Wife. And he's like, yeah, you know what? Let me answer their question. I know they got it. And he confronted them, you know, confidently. And, you know, that was smooth. So I like that. I like the different approaches that the men gave. What do, what do you think about the women? Are you disappointed in the women? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, 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 the women were fine. <laughs> I just didn't like, oh, I don't like Jacob, and I don't like oh, Chris, of course. We shall see what happens with the rest of them. See, we should have knew from the beginning, if you paid attention on the show, and their titles, if you go back, if you take it, hey, it says countdown to the meltdown, right? Season for 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 the first one. Second one, hello stranger. Now the third one, nice to marry you. What the fourth one is gonna be about? It should be drama. It's gonna be honeymoon, baby. <laughs> That's gonna be the fourth one. Honeymoon baby. Honeymoon baby. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, y'all. Thanks for staying this long to listen to our review and watching our videos. Please hit that like. See, you don't stay here this long. You might as well hit that like button. And hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you know when we get our new videos every yes. week. Yes. We will see you next time on Relationship Talk with the Boys. Hey, don't, my man, Ryan. I'm going on. My man Ryan asked, what, what are you worried about in the marriage? And she said, what? Hey, if you, if I love you and you don't love me. We said that last week. Yes. <laughs> and he is not going to love her. Watch. Watch. You making predictions now? That's right. That's right. Watch, y'all. He, 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 he don't. He's I'm not, so done. He's not interested in her. Hey, you so might want to end the show right there. That's what way. you think? Yes. All yes. right. He, he, so that's your prediction. He, he think like that, that Ryan's not going to like Clara. He's not going to say he loves you. I think Brianna and Vincent nope. is going to bake it, and they're nope. going to they gonna stay married. So those are our two predictions. We're going to see at the end of the season who was right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. We shall see. Now, communication can get people through, so. But I think what you call it is rap. He... Gone. He checked what? out. Just check. I'm out. All right. We shall see. Can I end it now? You, you can end done? it, You sure? You got nothing else to say? Oh, I'm done. <laughs> All right, y'all. Relationship talking lords. We out. Do your part. What's my part? Peace. Lord love movement. See you <laughs> next time. Lord Peace. love movement. <laughs>